I am tired in a mug. <laughs> I am tired in a mug. Let's get started. What's up y'all? It is Tashara Politics and Fashion here with a video that is highly requested. Now I know I've said that before and it was just one person that requested it. But this time the data do show that this has been a highly requested video from Instagram. Y'all have been in my DMs, y'all have been responding to stories, y'all have been in my comments and here on YouTube in my last video which was a shop with me vlog. I introduced a new handbag and the streets have been calling for a review of it and it is the Coach Pillow Tabby Bag. Now, unless you've been under a rock, I would imagine if you were watching this channel, then you were probably into fashion. And as a result, you have seen this bag because it has been viral. It's so funny because my project manager, Diamond, hey girl, if you're watching this, uh, talked about how she's actually not very active on social media. And she said, even I have seen this bag. So that means Coach is having a moment right now and I am here for it. Many of us remember in the early aughts, maybe even before, when Coach, Dooney, and Burke, they were having a moment. It was kind of these mid-level priced luxury handbags that if you were like me, and even when I was younger, I was really into bags, but couldn't afford the more high-end pieces, Coach was attainable. And I feel like they're getting back into that conversation that maybe like Tory Burch has taken over of affordable luxury. Coach, we see you, we are here for it. Welcome back into the game, okay? Because I am definitely someone who feels like luxury should be attainable for everyone. And I know a bag at this price point may not actually feel like it's attainable to some people, but it definitely is more possible than a handbag that starts at $1,000, for example. So, the bag that I'm going to show y'all today is sold out. Well, it was at the time of me filming this video. Um, you may be able to find it in store. You may be able to find it in store because I know that sometimes what is online and what is in store are not the same thing. It is sold out online in this particular colorway, but call up, this is, wait, call up, showing my age, call up, your local coach store and just see what you can find sis. Enough of me rambling, let's go ahead and get started. Before we jump into the video, however, make sure you are following me on Instagram where I've already styled this bag. So if you ain't following me over there, y'all are late to the party and I, I don't want you to be late, okay? Make sure you like this video if you love it and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below too and let me know what you think about the coach pillow tabby craze. All right, here goes the bag. Is she stunning or is she? It is the Coach Pillow Tabby in this beautiful ivory, like deep ecru. <laughs> Trying to use like my knowledge of the big crayon box colors. Um, I need to actually see what Coach calls this bag and I will put it on screen. But I want to go over with y'all three things today that I often get asked. Number one, the true color. Number two, what fits inside. And number three, how to style the bag. Let's go over the true color. Now, as I was mentioning, it is definitely much deeper than white. It's nowhere near white in my opinion. Um, and it's not as dark as a tan as you can see. If you compare it to the shirt that I'm wearing today, it's a lighter and I'm hoping that it comes up on screen as the true color. But as I style it towards the end of the video, you'll have a chance to see kind of how it compares to different colors. But I know online, it does not always give you a true depiction of the color. So if you're looking for a white handbag, this is not it. If you're looking for a tan handbag, this is not it. But for me, it does fill in that void of tan that I'm missing in my wardrobe talk about some hardware it is the brushed gold hardware which I am absolutely in love with you have the outline of the C in the brushed gold you also have the grommet or the um what is this little thing called 
the hardware is also in that brush gold and the bag actually comes y'all with two straps okay so it comes with a top handle strap and also a crossbody style strap which you will see me styling towards the end of the video I believe that the leather is a Napa leather. It definitely feels like it. Very, very soft, which is why it's called the Pillow Tabby. Coach also makes another tabby bag, but this one is the Pillow because it looks like a pillow, okay? I appreciate the fact that it has kind of a way to expand there on the side, as you can see. Because the leather is so soft and the way that it's constructed, where it's kind of cinched here at the top, but it's wider on the bottom, means that you can probably fit a lot more in this bag than you think. So let's go into what the bag holds. Now, I have in here my essentials, which I am very surprised by being that it is considered a micro bag. Um, so here is the inside of the bag. Hopefully that is focused. I'll also make sure I do a little bit of B-roll on top of this footage so y'all can see very clearly what's inside. I have a mirror because my lipstick always like runs all over my face like homie the clown you guys just do a little lipstick check girl when you're wearing that mask of course hand sanitizer this one is 1.4 ounces so very small okay i have inside my louis vuitton key pouch my keys are just inside of here um i also would minimize down for my full size wallet of course and put my necessary cards in here as well and then most importantly it fits your phone perfectly and i have an iphone 11 pro and a whole bunch of text messages <laughs> i have an iphone 11 pro okay and that fits in there perfectly as well so as you can see i put that in the front front little pocket second pocket is where I have my hand sanitizer and my keys and it also has a back pocket which is where I have my mirror so I can't think of anything else that I would need as far as the necessity is concerned oh also get into that I haven't taken off the little protective layer yet but get into how that's also the brush gold as well as the top. I mean the hardware on this bag is just absolutely phenomenal. But let me close it up so you can see. A little bit of a stretch but not bad whatsoever. Now a lot of people have been taking the bag, um, removing the top handle y'all and putting on their own straps. So I'm going to show you um, what I have done to kind of trick the bag out. All right, if you watch my capsule wardrobe video for this season, then you know it is a lot of tans, nudes, beiges. I'm giving you ethereal. I'm giving you off-whites. I'm giving you heavenly, angel-esque. You already know, okay? So I wanted to make sure that I had a strap that kind of fit in with that thing, but also gave the bag a bit of a pop. I got this on Amazon, y'all, and I'll make sure I link it down below. It probably was less than $15. Um, there are a lot of Etsy companies as well that sell these um it is this acrylic strap that is um in like a tortoise color I love it and because it's a little bit longer than that top handle it actually allows for me to wear the bag as a shoulder bag and then do you see how girl it looks like a piece of jewelry on the bag do you see how it just makes a little Makes a shirt pop, okay? I love this. It could be a little shorter, especially if I did want to go back to like the top handle size, but I like the fact that it allows for me to wear the bag as a shoulder bag since I don't have any shoulder bags in my collection whatsoever. So that's the great part about this bag because it is one, a neutral color, but number two, it does have the rings on both sides it's very easy to wear the bag with any type of strap i know coach does sell a few straps but i can see this with guitar straps for example i can see it with a cute fendi strap um any type of strap that you already have in your collection or if you want to do like i did and go on amazon and find something for the low etsy find something for the low it works well with this bag and i'm going to show you one more that i got from amazon as well okay so this one is gold and it is a little short 
if I can find this longer I will definitely link it what I plan on doing is I probably won't wear this as a top handle bag because the strap is so short I'll just let this be kind of a really cute just accessory for the bag and then I'll put the crossbody strap on top of it but just so y'all can see I think that brushed gold on top of the bag is just so absolutely divine again it just kind of merges well with the brush gold on the side and the brush gold outline of the C logo um again this was less than 15 bucks on Amazon so I'll make sure I link this one and one that's a little bit longer below as well last thing before I forget about the bag y'all is that it does have the coach um little tab that comes on the side of it thank god that that is um removable <laughs> i will insert a picture of what it looks like because i probably threw it away honestly um thank god that's removable because i just wasn't feeling it on the bag i don't think it's necessary most people i've seen rock the bag bag have taken it off if you love it girl by all means do you um however for me i just felt like it was an unnecessary accompaniment on the bag um and plus it's kind of puffy like this leather and it was just taken away from the silhouette so i decided to get rid of that and keep the bag you know in its all natural state and then add a couple little accessories on the top by way of the strap now let me show y'all how I will style the pillow tabby. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down below. Hopefully I've covered everything about the leather, the construction, the color, etc. Um, but again, if I've left something out, I'll be happy to answer, for, answer it for you. Just leave me a comment down below. But I know y'all also want to know, how would I wear the bag? So let's get into some styling. First up, y'all, is the pillow tabby worn with the crossbody strap. Let me just get up close so y'all can see this. The crossbody strap, of course, is all leather, and I love the fact that it has here an adjustable strap. So if you need it to, you could make it a bit shorter and a bit longer. It also has this great little piece of leather that actually keeps the tail of the strap close because if not, sometimes with leather, because it is malleable, the material will start to kind of bend up, and we don't want that. So this keeps it in place. Simple attached it here and decided to keep on the top handle just because I love the look of the top handle with the crossbody but you could easily also take this off so I am wearing it of course with the Fendi linen shirt y'all have already seen this shirt trust and believe you will see a lot more of it I was sitting here thinking I literally just wore this shirt two videos ago so uh, now y'all know that I am true to this capsule wardrobe thing because I don't even put on new pieces to create content this is me in real life wearing the clothes that I love over and over again and I highly suggest you all do the same that is the purpose of a capsule wardrobe but I digress okay so so this is the Fendi linen shirt once again it has the small Fendi logo in the back embroidered but nothing outrageous it really is a piece that is interchangeable in this kind of like deep toffee color also wearing the high-waisted mom jeans from mango which I love these get worn multiple times a week I'm actually gonna try to find a replacement for these or at least something that I can like interchange them with so that I don't completely wear these out <laughs> and I'm also wearing on my feet the Chanel pearl mules this particular style Style is sold out but they do make something similar that I will make sure I link below as a matter of fact everything will be linked down below and that is outfit number one this is me keeping it casual and keeping it cute <laughs> so I am wearing the ASOS linen blazer again you all saw this in my spring capsule wardrobe I am wearing this is an oldie but goodie it is a sweater tank top from Zara years old y'all cotton piece which is why fabric is so important if I can find something similar I will link it down below when I was at H&M last week I saw a couple of kind of these knit tanks so I'll make sure I link some down below um, and also wearing the Fendi high-waisted Bermuda shorts so I'm doing browns I'm doing tans I'm doing cream ivory you know I'm kind of on that end of the color spectrum with this outfit and I'm also wearing my gold Bottega Veneta flat sandals and that's why I'm saying this outfit is casual because it is a comfortable outfit 
love to wear this probably just out shopping um a day downtown having lunch chilling with friends etc okay um and i decided for the bag i would take off the crossbody strap and wear it with the top handle strap blazer is caped over my shoulders just to kind of give the outfit a sophisticated vibe okay all just super comfortable casual pieces and as you can see the bag goes really nicely with the pop of gold um here around the hardware but also in my Bottega slides as well and that is outfit number two before I go any further, I'm sorry I forgot to tell you all about my jewelry today. I'm wearing the Sylvia Toledano earrings, which you would have seen in my jewelry collection video. These have malachite studs in them. Absolutely love them. Also wearing, of course, my engagement ring. The center stone is malachite. My David Yerman stack ring. And then the bracelet stack today, I always got to hit you with some bracelets, okay, is the Cartier Just Some Clue bracelet, which I got for my birthday from Unray. This is a small one with diamonds. And then the two cups here are from Free Maiden. All of these pieces, except the Cartier bracelet, are going to be linked in my jewelry collection video, and I'll make sure I have that down below. So now I'm wearing an all black ensemble, y'all. I definitely think that the ivory looks really good with monochromatic looks and all black is typically the way that I go. Um, I am wearing it with the tortoise strap because it does have like those um, kind of cloudy black elements to it. I'm sure I've already shown y'all a close-up of this acrylic strap. Um, it picks up with the black in my outfit, of course. I am wearing a black blazer. This one is Saint Laurent. Yours does not have to be Saint Laurent. I'm sure we all have black blazers in our wardrobe. I am wearing a, um, this is actually new, y'all. I got this in the Shop With Me vlog from Aritzia, and it is the kind of high neck, almost muscle type um, body suit. This one is a thong, which is great because it does not show your panty lines. Let me just get a little bit closer so y'all can see the fabric and how it pairs with the bag. Also wearing, these are old, if I can find them, I would definitely link them. It is a pair of high-waisted linen black shorts from Simeo Collective that I got last year during quarantine, so they have definitely not really been worn. Um, got these from Shopbop last year and just thought that it would pair well with the bodysuit and the blazer cape over my shoulders. Y'all will see that I love a good blazer cape moment. I just feel like it really, really does work to elevate any look. I mean, I cape a blazer with a t-shirt and jeans because I think it just gives your outfit some sophistication. And that is how all the pieces look together. All right, good people, thank y'all so much. I don't know why I'm so hoping. Let me just put that, boom. All right, good people, thank y'all so much for watching this video. It has been a joy to go deep into one very important, cute, amazing, insert your own adjective. <laughs> item in my wardrobe. I absolutely am obsessed with the Coach Pillow Tabby and I'm happy that I was able to answer your questions. If you have more questions, make sure you drop them down below as I have previously said. In the meantime, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see y'all across the internet. Peace.